For the last year and a half, Jalal Alawebdi has been working on computer software to detect deception in people's online profiles. In other words, to tell when they are lying about who they really are. Today we, we are going to recognize one of our uh, uh, students. Uh, his name is Jalal Alawebdi and he's a PhD student at uh, Illinois University and he's a computer science and uh, he's, uh, he's just awarded from uh, Yahoo company uh, with an with a award, uh, uh, scientific uh, key challenges. Uh, and and uh, yesterday, we, uh, two weeks ago, we, we also uh, recognized one of our uh, scholarship students, Sair Freydi, and before that also we recognized one of our students, uh, Amal Sifiani. And, uh, and, uh, and we're going to keep uh, going to recognize of, of, of every uh, single student who's really awarded from, from uh, either academic or, uh, or uh, even a social uh, award from, from any institute in the United States. And, 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 and this, is, this is what we are looking for, and this is what our uh, uh, custodian of uh, Tuhali Mosque is, uh, is looking for. Uh, we, we wish uh, Jalal and we wish all of our students uh, uh, luck and we hope to see him uh, soon, inshallah, going back to Saudi Arabia to serve his country and to serve uh, his family and to serve uh, our religion. Thank you very much. Ala Webdi is a PhD student at the University of Illinois at Chicago. He was sent there by King Abdul Aziz University in Jeddah, where he was already a faculty member. Last year, the giant internet company Yahoo gave Ala Webdi its Key Scientific Challenges Award for what it called his groundbreaking work. Now the Saudi Arabian cultural mission outside Washington has recognized him for outstanding achievement. Uh, at the moment, currently, I'm researching on uh, detecting deception in online social network, where basically I'm trying to predict the profile's location, gender, interest, and culture, and even their age in, based on their profile. Being able to detect when people lie about who they really are could help online companies stop various crimes. Let us assume that I pretend to be a female and I'm a guy and I requested your friendship and you accepted it and you entered me to your life so whatever you boast I can see it so in order for the company to protect you from me they need to have a way of predicting my identity so my algorithm could work in this way but beside my algorithm now I could go to your profile and check where you are at and then go to your home and rob, it, rob your home. I could know certain information that you don't want someone like an unfriend to know it. Ala Webdi's approach is based on analyzing what people tweet or put on their Facebook walls to predict their true identities. The program analyzes numerous factors such as the age and gender of the people they communicate with and the language they use. For example, women are found to use the terms oh my god and awesome more often than men. None of these factors alone can prove a user's true identity, but together they can provide a strong prediction. Mainly I'm doing that from their behavior and activity on online social networks. So what if are they recording or they posting online? I'm trying to analyze that, taking it to the next level by predicting some extra information based on their tweets their for Twitter or based on their walls in Facebook and based on their comments somewhere sometimes and they're interacting with other people. Before finishing work on his system, Alawebdi intends to work with academic colleagues in communications and psychology to further refine the software's ability to predict when people are lying in their online profiles. A person may lie about themselves to do better in online dating, but sometimes those lies can be more serious, like when they're used for fraud, robbery, or child molesting. Jalal Alawebdi's pioneering research aims to predict when what a person writes online about themselves is nothing but a pack of lies. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.